what were you uh what were you speaking on in regards to uh how she treated him? So do you fault him for cheating on her? Do you fault him for cheating on her? Yes and no. Because I could he should have went to her. I think he did though. I think he did. He tried. Cause she had the bread. She Oprah. And, yeah, she had the bread. Like I said, you gotta be a special man to be steady. So you're going to need a man who's strong and confident in himself and not be threatened by your popularity. Yeah. Until he say shut the hell up, then you're going to be like, who the fuck you talking to? Disagree. Yeah, I think understanding is key in everything. You know what I mean? I mean, me personally, like, I drive trash trucks for a living. I'm not threatened by your popularity. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm not threatened by anybody's popularity. I feel like as a man, you know, if I'm going to pursue you and pursue something with you, not only do I have to be confident in myself, and who I am, but I got to be—I have to be confident in what I'm bringing to the table. You know what I mean? And I don't want to start courting you while I'm dating you, and then when I get you, stop courting you. That's where a lot of men make mistakes at. You know what I mean? So it's—it's it's really situations where these dudes—I mean, niggas, niggas is lazy with they love, and I'll be the first one to say that I've been guilty of it. You know what I mean? Like motherfuckers go hard. Until they get the draws. I'm guilty of it. Not no more. But. <laughs> in the past. You know. I would be very lazy. Until I would get the draws. And then after that. It's kind of like. Or I would go hard. Until I got the draws. And then after that. It's kind of like. Yo come see me man. You know. Come see me. You know. But I've learned in my older years. I look. I'm a lot older than I look. That uh. You leave that door open. Especially if you got a fine woman, fellas. You leave that door open, somebody going to walk through it. Believe that. Especially in the case of this popping goddess that we have on the show today out here. So, if y'all going to come at my girl Jordan or Apollonia, make sure y'all come correct. Because she building her brand and uh, she ain't got time for no weak shit. So, come with it if you're going to come with it. That's how that's that's my promo for her. You know what I mean? If y'all gonna step up to the plate. I don't know. Y'all men down there uh, in A Town, Greenville, Edenton. 
Oh, we got two five two fellas down there. I'm from the two five two two, so you know what I mean. I know how y'all operate. So, right. You know what I mean. But uh, anyway, sweetheart. Again, it's been a beautiful thing having you on. You know, if you could, uh, I guess before we get off of this. You know, get the people your your information, your Googles, your your IGs, and your Facebooks. And uh, if there was anything that you could say to the people that you would want to leave with the people, you know, you can leave them with a closing comment as well. Okay, look, find me on social media. You can find me on Facebook. My business page is Apollonia the Goddess. Follow. Um, you can find me on Apollonia the Goddess. You can find me on IG at Apollonia underscore the underscore goddess um and uh you, i'm sorry i don't want to cut you off just so you know the people who may struggle with the spelling spell that out for them so that they can make sure that they get okay, that right okay that's a p o l l o n i a apollonia I dig it. And Just because you say you quit, that don't mean you quit. That mean you frustrated with right. the process, but you're going to fucking get through right. the process. Believe that. You and know what I mean? And it's not going to come easy. You're going to lose friendships. You're going to lose relationships. But as long as you don't lose yourself and you stick to your plan, your goal, mm. what you're trying to do, you are going to prosper. Never think negative. Forget all the negative stuff. Watch how you use your tone. Make sure you say, I am positive, I am confident, personified. Talking. And also say to yourself, stop saying that you're broke. Don't say you're broke. Say that you are rich and you are full of abundance, of mm. good health and wealth. Mm. As long as you have those affirmations in place and you say them every morning mm. and before you go to bed, if, hey, if you got to listen to frequencies at night, do that. Train your mind to think positive. Train your tongue to only speak positive things. Mm. So that's what I believe with you. And I appreciate you having me on your show. Definitely, definitely. For sure. Even though I definitely. I, you say even though I did what? Say what? You say even though I did what? Yes, yes, definitely got you off guard. <laughs> but yeah, those were a lot of great remarks, a lot of words of inspiration for anybody who wants to be a young entrepreneur, old entrepreneur, you want to start your new business, you know, the words of wisdom just bestowed upon us from Apollonia the Goddess. The one thing that she said that stood out to me, and I heard this a couple of days ago, so this is not my quote, but I will say it. 
everybody who came with you can't go with you. And that's what I heard from that point right there. Again, you know, I want to thank Apollonia the Goddess, a.k.a. Candace, a.k.a. my friend. I call her Jordan for coming on the show. Again, we up university. You think about it. We talk about it. We up. We out. Y'all be blessed.